Dino Crisis is the nearly extinct franchise cousin to Resident Evil. The first two being a near reskin of the original Resident Evil games. Well, of course, until they made whatever Dino Crisis 3 was supposed to be. Capcom has so far refused to make another game in the franchise since June of 2003, 20 years ago, for the original Xbox. The fourth entry in the series initially being cancelled due to the poor reception of the third entry in the series, which in hindsight should have been pretty obvious when you have a soft reboot of the franchise and make space dinosaur-like creatures with a terrible camera, making the original Resident Evil and Dino Crisis games cameras seem like an improvement. For those of you who are unaware of what Dino Crisis is about, minus the obvious of dinosaurs, well, it's a bit like the obvious comparison of the time, minus the theme attraction park element. Taking place on a fictional island, Isla, I mean, Ibis Island, a secret operation team is sent in Gen. In, in, I mean in, to investigate a research facility. While arriving on the island, they soon discover the facility to be torn in a bloody trail of a mess. They quickly learn that a pronounced dead scientist has been recreating dinosaurs for a secret weapons project. Can the team survive and escape Jurassic facility? Not part. Dino Crisis is built off of the original Resident Evil's game's framework. It isn't an extremely long game, but it can take longer for new players as it has an excessive door lock system in place, requiring not just a key card but also a puzzle-based password to enter, known as a DDK disk system. Playing the game today for a new player would likely see this as a very outdated and possibly annoying system in place. It's Dino Crisis's replacement for Resident Evil system of finding an item to play somewhere else to unlock a door. Same thing, but a lot more wordy. If this were remade today, I'd expect a much simpler structure of finding a key and its code without all the extra jargon. Maybe even toning down the puzzle to figure out a puzzle element in the original. Dino Crisis is mostly just a facility. Think the RPD from Resident Evil 2, but with a few extra smaller areas afterwards and outside of it, kind of like the Resident Evil 2 remake as well. I believe Dino Crisis and the Resident Evil 2 remake would feel very similar. Maybe a step backwards after going through the newer release of the Resident Evil 4 remake, but that depends on if Capcom were to really add to the story and flesh it out like they did for the remake of Resident Evil 4. Or keep it closer to the original and feel more like a speedrun of the game. Depends greatly on the value Capcom sees in the franchise. Right now, Capcom has had nothing to do with it for 20 years. Not just that, but Exoprimal was likely their alternative for a dinosaur-based property. We know Resident Evil comes first in the hierarchy for Capcom, so it's hard to gauge whether Capcom even has Dino Crisis on their radar anymore. As for gameplay beyond door opening, the weapons and ammo crafting is similar to Resident Evil, but also slightly more complex. It's like taking Resident Evil's gunpowder to craft ammo, but the gunpowder could also combine with herbs, and then level up as it's stacked to be a poison handgun ammo plus plus to be super effective against dinosaurs. So there's that extra layer that adds a lot of value and opens a lot of possibilities for focusing on ammo or health and different styles of playthroughs. If you could make handgun ammo become shotgun or magnum levels of power by managing your inventory a certain way, there could be an interesting avenue for players. Dino Crisis also has a variety of sleeping or poison darts, 
sleeping darts being a temporary solution to going through a hostile area. Dino Crisis also has a slightly different system in place for dying in game. This comes in two forms, a resuscitation item available in your inventory, or to create, reviving you upon death, as it can be overly easy to die at the hands of dinosaurs. Big surprise, I know. The game also gives you five chances to continue. After that, it's officially game over. Retaining this aspect may not be that integral to a remake, as if it were to align more with modern remakes of Resident Evil, I think making the game more shooter than inventory manager would make a modern edition a bit more lively. Keeping it in vain with that of the remakes where a healthy balance of shoot and manage inventory along with puzzles mixed in is a good starting point. Not sure I entirely loved how dinosaurs in the original can feel at times overpowered. Adding a dodge mechanic and potentially a parry option like in the Resident Evil 4 remake may make the game even better and more enjoyable. What would gamers want out of a remade version of Dino Crisis? The original really does come off as a horror version of Jurassic Park. Keeping it horror focused and the constant need to run should be the primary focus. Think Resident Evil 2 Remake's tyrant sequence throughout the RPD, or Nemesis in the original 3, or the remake for 3, but apply this to not only raptors, but nearly every dinosaur in sight. Could be a bit crazy, but smaller dinosaurs like the Compies could be less of a worry, and if you're able to say kill the 3 or so raptors, eventually making the facility a little bit safer over time, there's ways to avoid feeling overburdened by things chasing you non-stop. I wouldn't say every dinosaur has to feel like it's going to try and kill you either. If Capcom were to borrow the concept behind Jurassic Park's long neck scene, or The Last of Us's giraffe scene, which are basically the same scene anyways, and apply it to herbivores and more friendly or neutral dinosaurs, there could also be a healthier balance in the game. There's definitely a lot of potential for a remake, and having even more of the island be explorable could be a bonus, even more so, and add more content to a pretty small and confined game. I'd love to say that there will in fact be a remake of Dino Crisis. Sadly, I can't be overly optimistic here as Capcom chose to make a game that not many really wanted in Exoprimal. An attempt at a more recent trend in gaming, aligning somewhere between a Left 4 Dead, Anthem, or an Overwatch. But ending up doing nothing particularly well based on the beta so far and stuck in the middle of nowhere. Capcom is taking a risk in something sort of new, but in all likelihood, had they just remade Dino Crisis instead, using an established Resident Evil engine there would have been a lot less risk, and more than likely a lot more success. Even if it were a mediocre game at release, the fact that pre-orders and nostalgia alone probably would have negated any risk of lost revenue to begin with is kind of head-scratching from our perspective in Capcom's decision making, leaving quite the sour taste for any Dino Crisis fan or gamer interested in a more serious and horror-based dinosaur property. So while Capcom meanders with taking a chance on a new, riskier IP, all the while Resident Evil games are absolutely killing it for Capcom financially, even when they don't put enough effort in, putting a game with that same theme and style of gameplay, but with dinosaurs, sounds like a good idea to me. Sounds like little financial risk, and also the fact that we also don't get many dinosaur-based games nowadays, especially horror-based, would also fill a small void in the industry. Capcom may very well just not care anymore about it. Resident Evil may also be just too much of a money-making machine of a franchise to make it not worthwhile to pursue. It does come across as Capcom has a lot of reasons to not bother. 
it still appears that a lot of gamers are actually still interested though. Maybe at some point Capcom will be ready to take the risk. But I personally think it would absolutely be a success. But right now, I think between Capcom's highly successful properties like Resident Evil and Street Fighter, etc. are too valuable to set aside. When the fatigue starts to set in for those a bit more, Capcom may be scratching that itch for some risk. I just hope that Exo Primal doesn't ruin Dino Crisis's potential return if indeed it does poorly. What are your thoughts on remaking a Dino Crisis game? Would you want it to be a modern Resident Evil but with dinosaurs? Or separate more away from Resident Evil to become its own thing? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching and have a great and wonderful day and I'll see you next time on Geek the Box.